Hi everybody, it's Halo Reach Tutor with another Halo Reach gameplay commentary. I'm doing a little bit of a throwback here, going back to my former personality, uh, because some friends and I were playing some Halo Reach recently. We had a great time, and I had one of my all-time best Halo gameplays, and so I was really proud of it. I want to share it with you here today. Uh, I ended up getting 24 kills and only 2 deaths which is a very impressive spread, but in addition to that, the context makes it even more impressive because I'm playing with three good friends of mine, uh, Unbiased Stone, Mass Solger, and Jeffstro, and all three of those players are good friends of mine. I play with them often, and all three are much, much better than I am. Uh, so it's very rare that I'll outscore any of those players who are on my team, uh, but in this gameplay, I score 24 points. Uh, points they score 26 points combined and so that's just really outstanding for me because all three of these guys are so much better than me just no question about it so for me to cumulatively score the same number of points as all three of them scored combined is really something and in addition when I checked out my opponents after the game all th all of my opponents were had good good ranks uh, good career scores, and so it's not like we're playing a bunch of hobos here. I mean, these were good players, and so I just really got into the zone here. I've already got two assists, so basically between kills and assists, I influenced more than half of the points scored by our team uh, throughout this game. Here I should have got a collateral kill with this uh, sniper, but instead I end up getting uh, a double kill as I, I polish off that player coming out of armor walk. And um, just really felt like I had things going here. And a lot of props to my teammates who gave me a lot of support throughout this game. I'm sure that they, they scored tons of assists. And I was just cleaning up a lot of those kills. But here, this guy, I see his shields pop. I take him down. I figure I'm going to try to no-scope him. And sure enough, I just, I just nailed a shot. And I was being super efficient with my ammunition this game. Uh, this player is in active camouflage, trying to hide so his shields can come back. Not going to let him do it. I confiscated sniper ammunition, and I'm going to put that to good use right away. So keep your eyes peeled because I'm going to get another double kill across the map with the sniper rounds. And again, uh, uh, so much props to my, my good friends, uh, Mass Solger, uh, Unbiased Stone, and, and Airborne as I get my double kill there from across the map. Uh, they're good friends, and uh, two of them have their own YouTube channels. And so I want to uh, you know encourage you to check out their YouTube channels. I'm going to get to that uh, towards the end of the video, but... If you haven't seen either uh, Jeff Stroh's YouTube channel or Unbiased Stones, they're both great channels, and I, I, I'd love to have you check them out because I think you'd really enjoy the, the content you find there. I couldn't get to Matt quite fast enough. I was trying to get over here and help him out, save his skin, but I was unable to do so. But I do have a great play here. Look, I'm using the entire full range of the map. I've, the, I've got my opponents in active camouflage. I don't know where they are, so the safest thing for me to do is hop up on the roof there, I'm able to get a no-scope rebound shot with the sniper rifle coming off the roof. Uh, my opponents are in active camouflage, so I have no clue where they are. And just using the full range of the map with the no-scope and the sniper, just some really solid gameplay. And I can really feel myself starting to heat up here and uh, really starting to go to work. So at this point, I, I'm becoming a little more aggressive than I normally might be. So I'm basically just heading towards the center of the map because I'm trying to look for my opponents, look for opportunities to score more points. And uh, what I see is uh, uh, the tag of one of my friends is turning orange over here, so I know he's getting shot at. That's Matt. I'm trying to help him out, really doing my best. I do take down that player who is chasing him, but then I get double teamed myself and taken down for the first time in the game. But off to a very good start. Our team's already up 18-8. to eight. And it uh, looks like we're going to cruise in this one, and, and, and uh, ultimately we will. Um, now here I'm going to come down, and I'm going to pick up Rockets. They've spawned for the second time in the game. And, you know, Rockets, uh, you know, a lot of people um, think that Rockets are much easier to use than they actually are. Rockets can be very tricky because, number one, it's very easy to waste your ammunition. And if you can conserve your ammunition and use it very efficiently, that's going to make a huge difference in the impact of the game. So look at this. I've got first shot, first kill, second shot, a second kill, third shot right here, I'm going to pick up a third kill. All three were spread apart just slightly enough I didn't get multi-kills, but then look here I get a fourth kill in just about uh, a 30 second period, I get a fourth kill with my fourth rocket shell. So four kills in a row and I didn't waste a single rocket and that's a really big difference because if you can go in and use those rockets efficiently, that's going to make a huge, huge difference in the game. You don't want to waste 
uh, power weapons. You want to use every single round as best you can. Some nice nades placement here. Uh, start off my uh, killing spree. So I've got five in a row. And here what happens, I kind of get sandwiched. I've got players on one end of the map and players on the other end of the map. I have no shields. And so, uh, boy, I just wanted to try to get out of there with my life intact. And I was able to do so. Avenge my teammate's death. And then I'm going to uh, come up here, grab the med pack, and I can continue moving forward. Um, but but when it comes to those power weapons, make sure that you are uh, you know using those to to every advantage. You know don't waste any rounds, whether it's in Halo 4 or Halo Reach. Make sure that you're using those weapons very efficiently. By the end of this game, I'm going to have possession of eight rocket shells and I'm going to get eight rocket kills. That is the absolute maximum efficiency with with rockets. And there really is an art to using the rockets well because it's very easy to either waste the ammunition or betray teammates. Uh, there's there's a really high risk of doing either of those if you're not careful with the rockets and so uh, very efficient with those rockets some some nice sniping as you've seen I've got several sniper kills going to work with the DMR I've got some very good DMR headshots and a lot of times I've done all these things under some real uh, duress right where I've been uh, double and triple teamed in some situations and able to escape with my life as well as a few kills you'll see another example of being double teamed in just a moment when I go down to to collect the rockets for the second time. Uh, but I do want to, uh, again, call out my teammates who were not only a huge help, but two of them, like I said, have their own YouTube channel. So please check him out. Unbiased Stone has a fantastic channel. It's really just up and running, but he's going to be posting a lot more content in the near future. So make sure to check him out, Unbiased Stone. Now here there's two blue players camping the rockets. And normally in a two-on-one situation, you're, you really are better off to escape and live to fight another day. But I don't want to let the rockets fall into the wrong hand. So I take both of them on. I do not retreat. I, I am rewarded. Barely missed that double kill there. Should have been a double kill, but I do get a killing frenzy and a couple headshots in a two-on-one situation. That's not easy to do, to, to take out two players simultaneously without any team support. Um, so now I do get the rockets for the second time. And again, I'm going to be very efficient. Uh, watch very closely. Four rocket shells, four rocket kills. The other player I want to call out quickly before this video is over is uh, his his gamer tag is Mass Solger, and his YouTube channel is Jeffstro. You see there, I could have been over aggressive with the rockets and betrayed my teammate. I didn't do so. Here, I can't get to Sony fast enough to save him, but I do avenge his death with this rocket shell. And then watch the third rocket here. This is really incredible. I mean, the reticule turned red. I didn't see any players, but the reticule turned red, so I unleashed. I end up killing somebody in active camo across the map with the rockets. I mean, I knew I was on fire here. I just couldn't miss. But again, uh, Jeffstro up here, who I'm about to avenge his death as well. He's got a YouTube channel, uh, uh, Jeffstro, and you want to make sure to check that out. He is one of the most reliable channels uh, on YouTube. He is constantly uploading new content, both Halo and Call of Duty related. He does a little bit of both, and just really a fantastic channel. Uh, there's very few people that do it better than he does, uh, so make sure to check him out as well. I'm going to provide links to both of these channels in the video so you can check them out, and I hope you do so. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Again, I, you know, my gameplay is not always very flashy, but when I score half my team's total, that's really an accomplishment, especially when I'm playing with teammates who are, are very skilled, very talented, and I'm still able to get out there and outscore all of them cumulatively. And even when we're playing against really good opponents, I was able to do that. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Add it to your favorites. Halo 4 Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.